we're back. And remember how last time we made those really easy peasy earrings out of the carved tube bone beads? You know, those real ethnic looking ones, those exotic kind of looking ones. And then we added the little bits of metal and we added the check glass flowers. Well, you know what? What I did is I made a whole bunch of sections like that so that I could make a bib necklace kind of sort of like this. Now you're gonna to get to see it up close when you come around back here with me. I'm gonna show you how I'm putting it together because it's really not even done yet, but this is a good place to stop and show you, okay? So before we do that, please like my channel and, and subscribe to it, like my video, leave me a nice comment. If you have something nice to say to me, I love it when you leave comments. I really would like to get to know you, so please leave comments, that's the way to do it. So that's enough of that. Come on over here and I'm going to show you how I figured out this necklace and I'm working it. Okay? Okay guys, so this is what it looks like so far. It's not done yet. But I'm thinking it's turning out really good. I just love the mix, the odd mix of the carved bone beads and the pretty check and a little bit of rondelle. See, I've got some shiny beads, hill beads. I love the hill beads with the rondelles in between. I mean, this is pretty. Got a bunch of going on, and then it's got really kind of cool centerpiece here, all bone. I wrapped it through and made those lengths, and it's all stuck together. It's very fun, and then I put this on wire and rounded it off. Cool technique, fun to do. So basically, this is just show and tell. What needs to be done next, and what do you need to make one like this? Okay. I used about, not quite, a scant eight inches of chain, and I used this curb style chain. Um, I don't know that I would use it again though because it's just a little tight, and what happens is sometimes when I put these on, this little jump gets stuck, like right in here, in this little place here, and then it doesn't hang right, so I'm not crazy about that, but I think I have them on there now so they won't do that. But Next time I think I'll go with a rollo maybe. Roller or belcher chain, that would be better. And then I have, I just made these random parts, you know, just having fun watching TV, watching my Sense and Sensibility show that I love, and for about the hundredth time, and just making stuff and having a peaceful good time in the afternoon, you know? And I had a whole bunch of them, like these here, you know, that I just showed in the other video. And then I says, let's see what they look like together. Let's do that, you know, so I started putting them on the chain. This is how I usually make a bib necklace, it's like this. I just put the chain in the front because rarely would I take this and add all these pieces all the way around. If I did, I would graduate them and make them smaller as they went around because when this gets to the wrong place on your chest, it's going to look beyond stupid. No kidding, really. It's going to stick out weird. I think I might even have to take the ends off. I might. And then just do some smaller beads and go up to the end. But if you're going to do one that goes all the way around the end, keep that in mind that you're going to have to graduate it at some point and not have it as long. But in the front, that waterfall effect is fine. So I'll just maybe make a few little more beaded t small bits here. And then what I'll do is I'll do the three heads on the end, head pin and turn it sections. You know, the very bohemian look, like gypsy beading, stack beading. Do that all the way around the back. And I'm going to end up making this about 20 inches around the neck, I think. Longer than I don't think I want. I don't want it to hang way, way down. Now, if you do, that's fine. You know, you just make it longer. For me, I found that 20 inches around the neck is pretty good when you have a bunch of parts, you know, dripping from it. So that works pretty good. So, um... What you need is you need to get a stash of, of bone beads and some check beads. Go through your stuff, see what you have. Now, on these beads here, you're like, yeah, but what I want to do this. I want to do this. Well, what I'm going to do is I have a pound or so of these left. I'm going to go through them and find more of these parts, and I'll show you what they're really like. Um, they, they're like bracelet ends. Here's one. This one has four holes, though. This one has four holes. I would prefer to find ones. Let me set them down so you can see. I would prefer to find ones that had um, three. Because that's what I use with this is three. These are all four. But, I mean, I could work with them. And basically, all I do, here's a three. Basically, all I do, just so that, you know, you can see how to start it. It's so simple. 
is just take your three and pull them through. Take your three and pull them through. And then go from there. Okay, so that's how you start. So you have to look for ones like that. Now, if you don't have ones like that, you could improvise something with wire, beads, other organic materials, polymer clay, all kinds of, you can make these out of polymer clay. Yes, you could. Um, so many ways you could go. But in the next video after this one, that will come up in the next time, uh, we're going to talk about making these centerpieces because they are fun. I'm going to talk about options and so forth that you could do. And then we're going to show it not in a bib, but on a leather necklace. Cool, right? I think it looks good with this. It looks kind of like Egypt Egyptian Revival a little bit to me in the antique. But on its own, on leather cord, oh baby, don't you think that'll cool, look cool? I do. I might prefer that, actually. So we'll find out the next time. So you come back next time, right? Subscribe to the channel. And like it if you liked it. Leave me a comment if you liked it. Ask me questions. I'm happy. We watch, don't we, Javi? Yes, we, we do. We monitor it. We know when you've asked questions. In fact, YouTube even sends me little notifications, so they pop up on my work de on my work, you know, screen. So I might be doing something on another screen entirely. Here comes, oh, somebody said something. Ask the question. If I can, I stop what I'm doing, go right over there and try to answer it. So if I know, I could tell you, you know. So. Anyways, um, I know it's kind of a short video, but I just kind of wanted to give you some ideas bouncing off the last video. So if you wanted, you could go back and watch the two together, you know, and it might be good. Or even go back to the first one about, you know, tea dyeing and the beads and stuff. And just kind of get your own ideas about what you want to do. Some people would probably take that and make one earring out of it. Why and not? And it would be cool. Yeah, why not? Why not? If you can, try it. So anyway, I hope you have some fun. Start yourself a bib. You can use anything you want, whatever kind of beads you want. But I like this earthy look right now. I'm kind of concentrating on this earthy look with just a little tiny bit of bling to kind of bring it, get some attention, you know. At the back, I would use a lobster claw cast, but you can make whatever you want. You can make an extender to make it longer, however. Till I get with you next time, I will have this done, and we will show you that real quick before we go into this, so that you will see it completely finished. But I just couldn't hold it back today. I, was, <laughs> I made so much proge progress with it that I just really, you know, how you know how you get excited sometimes, yeah. and you just want to share something with some. Hey, hey, look, look what I found out, you know. And that's one of the wonderful things about jewelry making because when you make jewelry, the more jewelry you make. The more ideas you get and just it, it just starts growing and growing and growing and now you're off on a roll doing all kinds of crazy good work right so what you might want to do too if you like to hang out with other people who like to do this kind of stuff I have a group on Facebook if you don't know about it it's called Be Super Boutique's creative group it's been eight years in October it's been there a long time. We have going on 6,000 members, but usually the active ones, you know, are maybe 75, 125, something like that, you know. And then people come and go too, which is fine. We don't care. We, we love to see them whenever they can show up. But um, they show their work. And on Wednesday, we have Work Table Wednesday, where we show stuff that's on our table, what we're working on. And we have Finished Up Friday. If anybody finished their project, they could show it. Or even it doesn't have to be that. It could be just what you're working on, you know? Oh, what are you doing? Oh, look what I made. See, once I get off of here, that's what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to take it to my group and share it with my friends over there. And then, oh, my goodness, they'll have all kinds of ideas. They'll be going nuts. So if they don't, I'll be surprised anyway. But you might want to come and join us. Of course, it's free. All you have to do is come to Bisa Boutique's Creative Group. If you go down at the bottom, you'll see there's a link there for you to go straight there. Uh, you do have to be on Facebook, of course, to be in it. So if you prefer not to do Facebook, I guess it won't work. But uh, if you like Facebook, come on over and join us. I would love to have you. So anyway, that's pretty much what I have for you today. So go play. Have some fun. Should be Sunday night. Yeah. Sunday night. 
time to make some jewelry, right? Chili night. That's chili night around here. We have a bowl of chili and makes do something for fun. Okay, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me for a little bit. I really appreciate appreciate the pleasure of your company. Say that a little slower. I appreciate the pleasure of your company because I truly do. You're wonderful. So I'll catch you next time with more in the bib and the centerpiece. Yay! Yeah.